I've been working at the PKI about 19 years and through the last uh, 20 years we have had to adapt to the market. Uh, we have digitized, we have automized the processes throughout the system. We have uh, increased our quality and we have uh, been able to reduce the cost. I'll take you through the cleaning area, the roasting area, the packing area and our warehouse. So you can see what's happening here. We are every day receiving about 60 tons of green beans. We are cleaning about 6 tons per hour through a system where we are cleaning with three different systems. And one of the unique systems we have is a Sortex uh, vision system where we are controlling every coffee bean we actually are using here. We can uh, control it uh, by HD cameras and infrared cameras where we are sorting out every kind of uh, things that we don't want. When the beans are cleaned, we are taking the beans, the different sorts, to the roastery where we are roasting it. We have about uh, 240 different recipes um, with different tasters, colors and so on. In the roasters, it takes about six minutes. That means we are roasting about, on each roaster, about four to five tons per hour. That means we have a total roasting capacity of 10 tons per hour. When we add heat to the beans, it will be more and more brown. Uh, ended up dark and totally uh, burned if we're not stopping the process. You'll be able to see here what's happening through the process, um, starting with a very light brown color and ending with a dark brown color. After the roasting process, the beans are going to the different silos where they are stored until they are going on in the process. That means they can either uh, be uh, grinded or they can be produced as whole beans. In our roasting area we have our control room which is the main area in our production at all. In this area we are sharing the data to secure the traceability from the deliverer of the beans to the finished bags. Every batch we have produced are stored in different places and the system, the control system we have, will not allow us to use the beans before the proper times uh, in the silos um, has ended. The data are controlling the process, that means the time schedule uh, in the recipes are allowing the system to open for the further transport of the coffee to the packing line when it's ready for packing. We have different sizes of bags depending on the use of it. In Denmark it's normal to use soft bags, but we have uh, companies who are using hard vacuum bags like in the southern Europe and in, in, in Sweden for example. But most of our products in Denmark are soft bags. We have eight packing lines in the packing area, two lines for whole beans and six lines for different kind of ground coffee. We are producing uh, about 50 million bags per year and uh, we have nine people producing this, this amount of, of bags. They are overviewing the lines, they are controlling the lines, but it's the line making the job. As you can see here, we are producing our own brand BKI Red Soft Bag, which is the most sold coffee bag in Denmark. The process is that we are unwinding the rolls with about 10,000 bags on each. Um, we are sealing it through the system uh, in, in the bag, in the top, in the bottom. We are filling in 400, 500 grams and are running every bag over a scale where we are taking out the bags which are not with the amount of coffee which it should be. Then we are putting into an automized process where we are wrapping a carton around four times four bags and after that, we are taking it through a system and to a, a palletizer. After palletizing the pallet when it's full, our transport uh, wagon will bring the pallet to the wrapping area and put into an elevator and transport it to the warehouse. 
at the warehouse, we're putting on a pallet label with a unique SSCC code. It's the only code of this kind in the whole world on the pallet. That means it's all the traceability we have on the pallet out to the end consumer. Those data are stored in our warehouse management system so we can at any time trace any carton, any bag produced at our factory. As you can see, we have optimized the space in, in our warehouse here. We have the, the, the space for 2,800 pallets in this small area. We have two different kinds of trucks in here. We have a truck to put in and take out pallets, and we have a truck picking up the specific cartons we need on an order. As you can see on, on the, the trucks, we are not using paper. Everything is digitized. The rebuild and the reconstruction of our warehouse has increased our efficiency with about 70%. We have uh, about 13 people through two shifts on this warehouse. We are handling 100,000 pallets out and in the system every year. This is a family owned company who has put in a lot of money through the last 20 years in this company. Without that, we wouldn't have been able to digitize, we wouldn't have been able to automize all the processes, and if not, we would not have been in business today in the Danish market. Right now, we are working with big data. That means we are trying to see if we can even be more efficient using big data. And in the future, I think we will be able to use AI to improve our output even more.